Notion has just released a new blog and is revolutionizing how I run my business meetings because of this. The problem that Notion is trying to solve here is very clear to me. With the rise of AI, there is a lot of different tools that transcribe your meetings, gives you a summary, tell you which the next steps are. In those tools, don't get me wrong, they are great, but they are just an extra tool. And I believe that the direction that Notion is trying to go into is to be the one tool that businesses need for almost everything. Before, for example, I was using Circleback, which is an amazing AI meeting tool, but where I really have all my data is inside of Notion. So for example, I will be in a meeting with a client and I will have this page open. This is a consulting client that I've had for a while. So I have some of my written notes over here, but if I were to come back to this call on April the 3rd and understand a little bit better what happened, because maybe my notes sucked <laughs> like these ones, I will have to go to circle back, search for the call, get inside of it, and then I will see it. And what's worse is that these apps cost money. Of course, I was paying $25 per month to circle back. And if you want to get that data inside of Notion, you will have to know a little bit of automations. For example, I built this automation over here that whenever a meeting finished, Circleback will send all the data and it will create the different tasks, append the notes, the next steps and everything for a client or not a client. So the setup could get a little bit complex. But now, instead of all of this, we have this block over here. I have my summary here, I have my transcript here, and I have my manual notes over here. Everything inside of the same block in Notion. Okay, so let's first walk through how this new block works and then how I'm using it for my business. So in order to invoke this new block, we can do it from every page because it's a block and we will just do slash meeting and this is the new block, AI meeting notes. And here we will see two different tabs. This is the first time that this happens inside of a Notion block. We have notes, so this is for our, our manual notes and the transcript. If to get this transcript running, I will have to click here and this tells me to confirm consent so this means that i will have to tell the other speakers that hey i'm about to start recording this call if you don't want to say it yourself you can i'm using notion ai to transcribe this meeting and generate notes run this crappy sound so people know it i would prefer to just say it by voice but yeah you will just once you have done that you will just confirm consent and once this is running that is it this is already transcribing what i'm saying and we can see it live over here i think this is pretty cool maybe i'm just gonna get all my youtube transcript transcribed <laughs> using this tool okay so how is this working because if you have used any other AI meeting tools, you know that a bot will join your call. So everybody will know that you are recording, of course, but Notion works a little bit different. No bot is going to enter your call. In fact, even if this is called AI meeting notes, what this is actually doing is just recording audio. It doesn't matter if it comes from a meeting or not. As you can see, this is still transcribing. So what this actually does is it records your computer's audio. So this means it will capture everything that the speakers in your Zoom call or Google Meet are saying. And it will also capture your input audio. In my case, this is this mic over here or whatever input source you are using for your sound. So it will capture this both and everything will get transcribed. That is it. If you click here on these three dots, you can select which is the mic that this is using. So this is in fact not using my actual microphone. This is just using my MacBook Pro's mic. And you can also check which is the system audio that this is getting. I only have one because I only have one computer. This is the language that this is going to use. You can format it as different formats, as say it's called stand up, team meeting, or automatic. I always say it as automatic is pretty good. The consent, yeah, you can customize this consent, but well, <laughs> seeing how the voice uh, sounds, probably I will just prefer to say it myself. And that is it. So let's see if with this short meeting, this already has enough information to create the summary. There you go. I mean, this could actually be like the cheat sheet of this video because it's very, very accurate. So now, even if this was generated by Notions AI, I can also add new things. So this is completely editable. 
also the transcript is fully editable. Let, let's say that, I don't know, uh, this is just um, uh, instead of audio, I'm just, uh, I said video, so I can just modify it. And if I want to rerun the summary after I have corrected the mistakes, I just click here and, and it will do it. If I want to even resume the transcription, I will just click there and this is going to continue transcribing whatever I am saying. And if I click stop, then it will generate the summary again. Well, so for, for the time that I've had access to this new blog, I have been using these meeting summaries alongside a proper AI meeting tool. In this case, I'm using Circleback and Fathom. So I'm using three at the same time. And in my experience, this works very well. There was one feature that I loved about Circleback and Fathom, which is to ask questions about the meeting itself. But I can also do that with Notion. So inside of this block, I can click in this Ask AI button and I can ask questions about the meeting itself because here it says current page. So this has already been automatically set up to only use the information about this current page. So I can ask, for example, how to change my mic in Notion AI meetings. And since this is something that I have said, there you go, because it's read the transcript from what I was saying before. So you can actually converse with your transcript, which is freaking amazing. One thing to bear in mind is that if we are in a much bigger page like this one, for example, with a lot of calls, if I click on Ask AI, this is still going to use all the information about this page. So it means all the page. But from my testing, I have seen that it is pretty accurate. If I ask something about the last call, it is going to understand what I mean and it is going to give me the right answer. So what is very good about it is that it is already inside of Notion. So probably I will stop paying for these other tools because also at the end of the summary, I have next, next steps. So if I want, I can create them as tasks inside of Notion itself. So I could have a button here to create a task, like whatever, I can, I can decide. And now since Notion is really transitioning to being the one stop tool for everything, even in Notion Calendar, they have done something very interesting. Of course, if you are going to transcribe meetings, <laughs> Calendar is where meetings live. So it kind of makes sense that they have done something inside of Notion Calendar. What they've done is, now, if you go to the settings inside of Notion Calendar, you will see this AI meeting notes area with three different options. First, where you want to store your AI meeting notes. The context here is that every time that we have a meeting that we are hosting, we can create an AI meeting note for it. We can either do it manually or we can set it up so this is done automatically with this toggle over here. And of course, we can select which database we want to use for those meetings. I have a meetings and notes database. So this is the one that I use. For me, the con of using this approach is that I cannot use it in the way that I was using with the client that I show you, the client where I have all the meeting notes in toggles and everything. I mean, it's a pretty minor con, but well, I can just set it up to auto add the AI meeting notes. And if I don't use it, I just leave that page blank and that is it. And I just do it in the other way. And we can also select to auto share with participants. So whenever the meeting has finished, this is going to share it with everybody. So what this actually does is that whenever there is a new meeting, let's say this one, new meeting, a new meeting notes has been created. And if I click on this page, this is already created with the templates that I have set for this particular database, also with the people inside of the meeting and the same block is already ready to roll at the top of it all. So far, this feature for me has one little shortcoming. It is not very critical, but if you think about it, what this is really doing is just transcribing audio into text. That is it. But since it doesn't have access to the actual Zoom call, it cannot know yet which speaker is saying what. I hope that they include this feature in the future. So instead of a big wall of text transcribing what everybody has said, it is able to distinguish even th that this is speaker one, speaker two, 
it fits with the names much better. But well, in the beginning, I thought that this was a great issue, but then from my testing, it is very capable of understanding who is saying what. I mean, not really who is saying what, but that this paragraph was said by one person and this paragraph was said by another person because in my testing, like it's able to differentiate client said this, consultant said that. So it doesn't defeat the purpose 100%. So well, this is one step forward to Notion being the tool that I use like for literally everything. As the time progresses, I use less and less tools thanks to Notion basically providing the features that standalone apps give us. And if you're really into using tools and making your processes more efficient and more automated for your business, I create a lot of videos on my channel like this one that is going to appear around here so you can see what is possible. And if you want to work directly with me, you can also find how to do that in the description of this video. And that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.